Crap with Beth and Matt. Cut to Crap is the world's number one no bullshit health and fitness podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Cut to Crap with Beth and Matt. We are uh, discombobulated and uh, brain dead as always. So <laughs> we are a fucking hot mess. Actually, I'm the hot mess because <laughs> Matt's like, "Yeah, let's re- are we going to do the podcast at two thirty? And I'm like, "Huh." Um, Anyway, yeah. Wrong, wrong, well, my, wrong I mean, day. Partially my fault because it's not our normal recording day. Stupid right. me and traveling, you know, uh, I always got to throw a wrench in there for us. So stop going away. <laughs> no. We're, yeah. Weren't you just away? Yeah, I was in Florida last weekend. Yeah, visiting. Oh my God. I don't know how. I, I wish I, I, I don't know. I, I can't do that. Well, I mean, I wish I could. I just can't. Unfortunately. Well, yeah. I mean, honestly, this is why I, I quit uh, working for the man, you know, working for my, my, my real job and doing this for myself because I wanted that flexibility and the freedom. And yeah. it's, it's funny whenever I tell people like, I don't have a job anymore. You know, I'm a, like, I, that's how I look at it. Like I'm doing what I fucking love. This isn't a job to me. This is my passion. And of course it's my business too, but um, this is why I'm, I do it though. So I can have this freedom yeah. and flexibility to, to travel and, and go camping for four days out in the middle of nowhere if I want to do that, you know? So yeah. Nice. And that's what I'm doing. So nice. <laughs> yeah. So we're, uh, we're going camping, um, on the upper peninsula in Michigan. It's not quite the true UP, but it's still UP ish. It's like yeah. seven mile, uh, seven hour drive from my house. And then we have to catch a ferry, um, wow. to get us to this Island. That's in the middle of Lake Michigan, mm-hmm. and it's a two hour ferry ride to get there. Um, and it's interesting. It's going to, it's going to be awesome because you have to pack your own stuff to survive your food, your own food, water, everything. It's very, very primitive camping. There's no electricity, no running water, nothing. So we yeah. got to filter our, filter our own water, um, you know, take our own food. So I'm taking like dehydrated food and, and trail mix and all kinds of snacks. But yeah. I, you know, I don't have that much space. So I got to be very, I'm packing very calorically dense foods for that. So. Yeah. Are, are, is it you and your son going? No, it's me. I'm going with my brother and his wife and uh-huh. um, Sierra, my girlfriend. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. It's going to I'm really looking fun. forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be amazing. There's like, um, there's old shipwrecks in that area. Um, mm-hmm. cause the great lakes are notorious for just wreaking havoc on tra- on ships. And so there's a, there's a one ship that's like halfway submerged, but half of it's still uh-huh. out of the water and you can actually go and, and, um, get, I, not tour it, of course, but like if you have um, a lot of people will um, snorkel um, and, and and go visit it and things like that. The water right now is only thirty eight degrees up there, so because oh, um, it's, it's the upper peninsula, it was it's fucking freezing, you know, until May up there. Wow, so, yeah, yeah. kind of like Maine. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> wouldn't go swimming. I wouldn't go swimming here, even in the summer, <laughs> unless no? it was like a lake. A gotcha. lake, yeah, okay, but okay. not the ocean. Yeah. So I'm not. So you. So you're saying when I come back in in a month. In June, then I'm not going to be going swimming in the English Probably English. not. So, no. Don't Fuck don't no. don't challenge me. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't be me. Well, that's what I asked. I asked Sierra. I said, "Are you going to jump in the water with me?" She's like, "It's 38 fucking degrees." I said, "I know. Like, cold does the body good." So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So I'm, I'm, that, I'm definitely doing. There it. you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cold. What, about, what do they call it? The polar plunge. The, cold, the polar plunge. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. And Wim Hof. Have you ever heard of? Uh, Wim oh, Hof, do you know who he is? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, he's the ice man. Right. And he, he's a big advocate for that shit. Um, he hiked, um, I think not Kilimanjaro, but one of the, one of the epic mountains of the world, mm-hmm. um, in just boots and fucking shorts. Jesus. Because he's wasn't just, it, wait, me. Wasn't it Everest? It, no. Oh yeah. It was Everest. I right? think it was, it was Everest. It was. Yeah. yeah. Um, nuts. And so like, I do, I do my cold showers and things like that occasionally. And Mm -hmm. that's from, from me, um, learning a little bit about his methods. Yeah. Great way to manage, um, like your stress and your fight or flight response and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. What about you, Beth? Like, are you, how are you bouncing (laughs) back from COVID? Um, it's been rough actually. Lots of brain fog, uh, brain fog and exhaustion. Um, I feel like it's like almost like worse now than it was during when I had like initial had it, got it, which is interesting. interesting. Like, yeah. Like the congestion, when I wake up at night, I can bear it. Like I can't breathe through my nose. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Um, and just being tired, like fucking tired. 
that's me currently with the breathing at nighttime, but that's because my fucking allergies are hitting me yeah. so bad right now. It's the worst. It, I can't stand waking up and not being able to breathe. Yeah, it's the worst feeling. And having, then, you, then you're a mouth breather. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> and awful. And I think that's what makes making me more tired too. Do you think you have, do you have some allergies going on as well? In addition, my husband thinks he seems to think there's a mix there. He's like, yeah, the pollen's really bad. I'm like, but I don't remember it being this bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well. Who knows? Who knows? Coincidence or allergies? Probably, probably a little bit of both. We'll say both. I'd say both. I'd say both. <laughs> uh huh. Right. We went to uh, Connecticut this weekend, and my yeah, niece gra- graduated high school. Um, that was fun. Um, except our Airbnb uh, did not have hot water. Oh no! Did they know yeah. they didn't have hot water? Nope. Uh, it was. We were the first renters. Oh, and shit. um there was literally like usually when you rent an airbnb there's like a you know a book that says how to access the wi-fi like yeah. what to do when you close the place every there was nothing didn't there was no i couldn't find the wi-fi it was like the there first was, time they ever rented it out like it was a brand new yeah. airbnb oh yeah and no run no hot water the fucking silverware was still in the box there was one roll of toilet paper no bags the for the fuck garbage. did they just buy like a flip a house Gar- and, like, garbage geez. can there was no paper towels i was like are you fucking kidding me this is bullshit yeah um so i contacted him and he didn't get back to me till the next day and oh, i was hell like, no. on the phone with airbnb ready to be like fuck this yeah um and he's like i'll get you guys a hotel i'm really sorry i actually have covid right now oh shit um so he you could see you could hear it in his voice and i was like yeah. oh that's that's a bummer he's like i'll take care of this for you just don't give me a you know bad bad review yeah because that review. on airbnb one bad review can can break a seller mm-hmm. or, a, or a, a host yeah so. Yeah, I've heard stories of my 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 uh, brother has a buddy um, and his uncle down in Tennessee mm-hmm. um, has an Airbnb. Um, he went there for his bat. I think it was his bachelor party or his buddy's bachelor party last year. And the dock, um, they have a dock for the the lake that they're on. It was burned down. Apparently, the previous tenants the weekend before fucking burn it down, having a raging fire. And Holy here's shit. The, here's the thing: the owner of the house just took it in stride. Like I can't complain about them because they'll leave me a bad review and that'll ruin me. Like people are just like, I get it. I that's, that's like with us, like with reviews and things like that, testimonials, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, people hate us anyway, but. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck but, man. I'm, I'm hated every day. Yeah. Yeah. Where, what are you being hated on uh, recently? Mm, because I am promoting mixing, uh, Premier protein with aspartame. Um, both, oh, you know, no. How dare my, you? My, my like little concoction that I saw in my, one of my Facebook groups. I was like, that looks pretty fucking good. Like kind of like a um, protein like root a, beer float type yeah, thing, Yeah, root beer right? float. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So fucking good. So I tried it. I found cherry vanilla zero um, Coke, which is fucking bomb. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I mixed it with some vanilla premier protein. And of course, I got the ingredients police after me. I used to follow you, but you're not about health. And I'm like, fuck. I I hate it here. I'm fucking so, do you guys under, like, I don't think people understand like what the definition of, what is the definition of health to somebody, right? The definition of health to me used to be drinking two bottles of fucking wine a night and then juicing the next day because healthy, right? Health. Yeah. That's not fucking healthy. Then I, I'd give my husband shit for having ice cream because sugar, I was such a fucking hypocrite. Mm -hmm. I was like an orthorexic alcoholic, you know, good combination. Right. Um, I just doing like things in such extremes is not fucking healthy. Exactly. It's not healthy at all, at all. And, and you nailed it too. health. I mean, everybody has their own definition of health because health is a very vague term, right? But we can all generally agree what health means. I mean, as long as we're not having any diseases that we're getting from our lifestyle um, and we're not drinking ourselves to an early grave and eating ourselves to an early grave, things like that, then like, right. Leave it the fuck alone. You know? Yeah. What's healthy to me is not necessarily what's healthy to a, a bodybuilder or some, you know, everybody's different. Yeah. The same. Yeah. Fucking Stop trying to, police. it's like the, the, ex, the extremes is, is crazy. It's like, mm-hmm. just because I've been mixing a premier protein shake with fucking zero sugar Coca-Cola <laughs> means I'm a fucking complete psychotic, like, not healthy uh health coach i don't even know how to reach those people like how, mm. how can we honestly... they're so 
I think it's it, because I remember being sucked in that you just, you have the blinders on, you just can't think. Yeah. You're, you're just like, Oh, toxic, 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 toxic. It, it's, it's, uh, that is toxic. Yeah. It's very toxic. And on that note, I made a video. I don't know if you saw this morning on TikTok. Um, I said, uh, I was talking about my camping trip. I said, this is a video for people that tell you that, that think that you shouldn't be eating processed foods. And I said, mm-hmm. I want to know what I should be eating in this scenario, my camping trip, right? Going away for four days. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have access to fresh food, no, re- no refrigeration. I can't cook my food. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Eat, eat processed food. So, you know, I, I would love to know what people think in that situation. Like, of course it's right. only four days. Right. And that's not going to kill. It's not going to kill anybody, but, um, you know, and not that process, but the, the entire point of that video that I made was everything's fucking processed. You can't mm-hmm. avoid processed food. Everything is yeah. processed, but we did, we need to start there. So when we say like, stop demonizing processed foods, because processed is such a vague term, it's a generic bullshit term that you slap on food. Um, mm-hmm. to, to, to try to create that unhealthy relationship. Like there's hyper processed foods, there's ultra processed foods, there's less processed foods, but yeah. eating processed foods doesn't fucking help anybody with anything yeah. because, yeah. because everything, I don't care. Like if you grow your own vegetables, if you're slaughtering your own chickens or cows or your pigs, you're still processing it. It's yeah. literal processing. I just, yeah, it makes no sense. It's like these people act like they absolutely fucking eat nothing, but like the veggies in their garden, they got their fucking Rainbow. cows and the cows yeah, and, and their, <laughs> you know, and they're fucking like, they use nothing but paper products and they don't drink alcohol. I, I can't imagine the people that make these comments are fucking perfect in that would, any specific way. I would love to see what the, like the lifestyle of these people that make those comments because I fucking right? believe to you, they're, they're miserable. That's what I was going to say. They're fucking miserable. They're miserable. I, I was miserable when I lived like that. I was fucking miserable because I was micromanaging every fucking everyone else. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's bad. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, what are you doing? And then meanwhile, I'm fucking throwing them back like a yeah. fucking nut bag. So <laughs> two, two, two bottles of wine a day and yeah, you know, yeah. giving yeah. everyone else shit. That, that's when you when I look at those people, I'm like, OK, there's something else going on that they have to be so just like in the comment section about something like that, like you, 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 what are you, what's, what's going on in your Why life? You point actually, that finger actually, around and point it at yourself. What? Point it at the fucking person that's, you know, yeah. pointing the finger. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, um, you know, that sports illustrated, uh, model that everybody was raging about. I don't think we talked about this last week. No. But when people, when people get upset about that, right. Because a woman in a, in a larger body is a, a cover model, uh, mm-hmm. for a sports magazine. So the fuck what, if you have a problem with that, that says more about you as a person than it does that person. It yeah. says to me, like that person is insecure. They're, they're afraid of, of a woman in a larger body they're maybe they're afraid of being a, in a larger body themselves or they're fat phobic um they're projecting their insecurities yeah yeah insane it is insane mm-hmm. so the, <laughs> the world is insane the world right is now. insane the world is insane so we're the we have the ingredient police let's see what else is going on um lately Ingredients, the f- ingredient fear mongering is, it, I think it's, it's huge. really becoming it's huge. Oh, let, you know, let's, let's talk about something that's really fucking stupid on TikTok is the continuous glucose. Monitor. Oh, fuck, man. Let's talk I, about that. That's, that's insane. That has taken fear mongering food to an entire fucking new level. Wow. Entire new level. Not only that, but you are showing like, I hate, I hate this word privilege, but you're showing yeah. your fucking privilege when you're doing that. Do you know how many, how many diabetics that actually need that equipment, those continuous glucose monitors and can't get them because it's fucking so expensive here in the United States to get anything mm-hmm. for healthcare or for diabetics. And yet we have these assholes sitting there like, well, look what happens when I drink a di- uh, drink a soda. Oh my God. You drank sugar and your fucking blood sugar spiked. Okay. Not, your I body's fucking, fucking working correctly. <laughs> yeah. Your body's working the way it's supposed to. Cause that happens. And then guess what? Your body regulates it and brings it back down as it's supposed to, because you're not yeah. fucking diabetic and yeah. you don't need a blood glucose monitor. And I don't know what's worse is him doing that in front of his child. Oh, that, that set me the fuck off. I, I think, yeah. His daughter was, he banned, uh, he blocked me after that because I, t- I told him he was a piece of shit in his comments. Yeah. That's him, fucking I, straight up. I said, bullshit to me. Shit. 
Yeah. And, you know, he's not the only one that does that. Actually, now that more that I'm noticing is even that Bobby guy has his little girl in the grocery store. Um, and so what is that? Food. That is teach there from that young age. They are learned to fear foods, fear ingredients. It's like fear, fear. They're going to wear like unfortunately is- grow up with a fucking eating disorder. And you know how mm-hmm. I, because we work with women <laughs> that that has happened to from a young age. Nine years and old. Well, I talked now, to somebody the other day when yeah. they were put on their first, a nine-year-old girl was put on her first diet at nine years old. How the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's because Not of parents good. like that. It's because yep. of people like that, that orthorexia, um, that, that obs- orthorexia, that obsession with healthy living and, mm-hmm. and looking a certain way and all that. It's, it's so unhealthy. Like yeah. health is more than just our physical health guys. It's mental health too. Yeah. And our, if we have poor mental health, it's going to, it's going to reflect on our physical health more than, more than likely not. Yeah. It, <laughs> That's I, fucked up. I'm just mind. Like I can't speechless right now. That, I know or exactly. Or when I saw that video, like it's, you are, you're using your, your child to spread fear and to sell your program and to sell your products. Yeah. That's all yeah. he's doing. Selling his fucking, uh, whatever it's, I forget what brand I'm not even going to say the brand. I'm not. Yeah. They're not, I, I they're stupid. not worth it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And he, he's not the only one. We have um, carnivore assholes like um, the carnivore MD promoting that stuff. Now I'm seeing their, their ads pop up all over the place. Con- really? I haven't promoting seen that. The, those guys yet. Use glucose monitors. And these are all mm. people that have been taking advantage of people for years now, become millionaires, literally like people like the liver king are making yeah. millions of dollars in profit in profit a month by, by the fear mongering that they're doing with, with food. He's got a whole products. supplement line, doesn't he? Got a whole, whole ass supplement line. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's insane. Wow. We didn't know this Imagine was going to turn into a rant. Those here people we are. have, they have millions of views and millions of followers. It's, it's, it's amazing what people like, uh, you know, gravitate towards. Yeah. Fear, fear. fucking fear. fear every single time. Always fear. Fear, mm-hmm. fear sells. Yeah, the shit we, talk know, about we tell the truth thing. and we, we, we no bullshit. And it's like, unfollow, unfollow. You're fucking crazy. Oh my God. And then they go to the liver King. Oh my God. Huh? How much Lincoln bio? Okay. How much for that supplement? Yeah. It's like, you guys stop looking for these fucking quick fixes. You're just, and you're just coming back to the same thing over and over again. It drives me fucking crazy when I see that shit. It's, it's really, it's heart wrenching to be honest. Yeah. I would love to know for anybody listening right now, send us a DM. <laughs> And give us a ballpark. Let us know how much money you've roughly spent on, on supplements and diet products and yeah. programs in your entire adult life. We would love to know, seriously. Yeah. Because I can guarantee you it's probably a car payment mm-hmm. uh, for, for an entire fucking car. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's looking for the quick fix still. Yeah. I mean, I got a comment today in my video. It's like, do you think I should do like a really restrictive um, cut first and then go into a moderate calorie. Let me guess to jumpstart it or something. uh, Yeah. They said I want to, so I can, I said, I didn't even say anything. I was going to make a video like, no, yeah, stop. You guys stop the fucking madness. Where is that getting you? Right. No, it's that, that's that crash crash diet. It's that restriction binge. And because you can, we can guarantee that person isn't going to jump. First of all, the jump starting anything is jump start. What the fuck? You're not a motorcycle, bro. Right. <laughs> You're not going right. to jump start your, your, uh, yeah. your diet or your workout plan. You jump started by fucking just doing something. Sure. Jump start some muscle loss. There you go. Yeah. So, if you want to do as well, fun. crash diet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Yeah. My goodness. I don't know. We definitely weren't planning on doing a rant episode today, but I, uh, you know, you got, they love our rants. Yeah. <laughs> I, I <always laughs> feel, it feels good too. Cause this is a good outlet for us because yeah, this is our safe place because <laughs> right. <laughs> we talk about this shit on TikTok. We're going to have people coming for our heads and we know you, know you guys love I, it. So I don't that's want, why we I don't want anybody coming for my head right now. I, I'm in a good place with TikTok. I don't have any trolls relatively right now. I want to keep it that way. So oh, that's good. Yeah. I, have, I haven't had any viral videos in like a month. So, um, but also I haven't really been creating a lot of new content. So, um, not, at least not on TikTok. So, because yeah. I mean, I, I've been working on so many other things, you know, with coaching and group coaching and the Patreon. Yeah. So let's talk about group coaching. Yeah. Let's go, that's go, going on for you. Yeah, definitely. So I'm super excited. We we're doing a new round of group coaching, um, Monday, June 6th. So that's just a few days from now. 
uh, myself and coach Mel on my team. Um, so Mel, uh, for anybody listening is, uh, a cup of Mel on TikTok. She's a licensed therapist, um, and eating disorder specialist. Mm-hmm. Um, and she works with me on my team as a mindful eating coach, and we are doing the body and mind connection with Matt and Mel. So we are teaching people how to be a mindful eater and mindful and, and mindful mover, um, mindful movement <laughs> nice. so, and getting away from like get, helping people create, I'm coming with tools and different outlets for stress eating, emotional eating and improving our body image and mm-hmm. things like that. So we're really excited for it. It's a 12 week program. Like I said, starting June 6th, um, I think it's going to be a complete game changer because this, I, I am, I am fully on board with like mindful eating at this point for myself. Yeah. Um, I obviously I lost, you know, 11 pounds in, in eight weeks earlier this year for my powerlifting meet just with, um, uh, mindful eating. And, yeah. um, I don't want to ever t- say like, this is a, a fat loss tool because mindful eating is body neutral, mm-hmm. but, um, <laughs> if you want to use it to lose weight, you can, but it, the practices, the method, they don't do it to, to, to help you lose weight or to gain weight. It's truly to help you repair your relationship with food and for long-term success. Um, you know, I don't think everybody, I don't think people should be tracking calories forever. So we need to learn yeah. That's even when I work with clients one-on-one, it's we, we, for the most part, we usually start with tracking to raise that awareness, right. And start learning mm-hmm. more about nutrition macros and things like that. Yeah. But, uh, we ultimately transition to being uh, more mindful and taking tracking away. So super, super excited for that 12 week program. Um, got a, gotten a lot of interest in it. So if anybody is wanting to join the new group coaching program with myself and Mel, we're going to be doing weekly, uh, zoom group calls, which I know you do something similar with yours. Mm-hmm. Um, send me a DM on Instagram. Um, and we'll get you set up, um, with all the information, payment information and what you can expect from us. And we're going to be hitting the ground running in just a few days. Woohoo. Woohoo. How's that? Yeah. Uh, you just started a new round of group coaching too, I think, didn't you? Yeah. And actually it's open now continuously. We decided just to keep it open so people can really? sh- join in whenever they want. Yeah. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so you don't, yeah. you're, not, you're not just doing it in waves anymore. So it's right. Right. Stay on as long as they want, essentially. Is there, a, yeah. is there a minimum commitment for that still or? Um, yeah. Three, it's a three, three, months? three, three month commitment. It's, a, it's yeah. different than Matt's. It's more like macro tracking and, you know, um, uh, <sighs> creating a healthy relationship with food, building yeah. a healthy, building a healthy plate. Um, yeah. you know, I have, a two coaches in the group, um, coach Justin programs, the workout. So there's like a workout portal. Um, and then we have the membership, um, recipe portal, like we do in the Patreon as yeah. well. Um, and then I do my weekly zoom calls and I have coach Patty that does daily accountability. So it's lots of accountability. And then we, you know, the zoom calls is where the coaching happens. Hell yeah. I love that. I love that. So yeah. obviously that's a little bit different than your one-on-one coaching as well, which I love yeah. that you have that option. You have a couple of different options for people. And mm-hmm. now I've, this has been something that I've been wanting to do is for a while now is have those multiple options for, yeah. not everybody needs one-on-one coaching and mm-hmm. work or can afford it. This is a good mid tier option essentially. So yeah. Now we have, I mean, so many different ways we can help people for free, right. With our content, which happens mm-hmm. all the fucking time, which is amazing. And we love that. And then yeah. of course we have um, our one-on-one coaching and the group coaching and, and the Patreon for ourselves too. So, yep. which, yeah, I mean, we're just uh, and talking about all of our d- cool shit we've got going on here. It's the end of the month, which means, um, yeah. Oh yeah. Tomorrow. If you join the Patreon yep. so tomorrow, by the time people are listening to this, the new, the new, uh, workout plans and everything will be available in June mm-hmm. is a very exciting month for the Patreon. Isn't it? Yeah. We're yeah, doing, we got some, we're doing a step challenge, step challenge. super pumped about and your there's prizes. Uh, we're going to talk about that, um, yeah. to so, be discussed, <laughs> to be discussed. Did we, did we, did we d- determine what, um, we're going to, do I think we are going to do, should we say, I don't know. I'm good. I'm, I'm good with what we talked about. If you're good with I, it, so let's too. Go ahead and announce it. Yeah, you do it. Look, don't you guys just love our planning? So, um, <laughs> we're going to be doing, um, so part of our Patreon is we do monthly challenges this month. We're going to get everybody involved as much as possible, uh, with the step challenge, like Beth said. But here's the kicker. We're going to be giving away a prize to somebody in the Patreon uh, mm-hmm. to the person with the most steps at the end of the month. Right. So mm-hmm. um, what we're doing is we're going to be doing a weekly check in on the Patreon um, for everybody to send us their steps. And we're going to keep track of everybody's steps for them. And then at the end of the month, whoever has the most steps is going to win uh, a prize from Beth and myself. And that prize is going to be drum roll, please. <laughs> either a new Fitbit 
or uh, like kettlebells or something like that. Just in case, like maybe somebody yeah. already has a Fitbit. They're like, no, I don't want a Fitbit. I already got one. Right. Or, or, I mean, most people can, I mean, kettlebells are fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, which we should start doing some kettlebell type workouts in the mm-hmm. Patreon if people ask for it. But um, yeah. Um, so nice. That's, that's the step challenge. Um, then we have the new workout program uh, plan that's coming out as well for June, which we which are Matt now- is going to be doing. Yep. I'm actually going to be following along with it, you guys. So um, people always ask, is this for me? Can I do this workout? Um, what skill level is it for? It's for everybody. A beginner, mm-hmm. intermediate, advanced, doesn't really matter. I'm putting my yeah. money where my mouth is. I'm advanced. I'm going to be doing it right along yeah. you guys, even if you've never done it before. And I'm going to be posting about it. Um, so like, that's exciting. One, very exciting. I don't, people don't understand. Like most, I should say most, cause not all um, yeah. workouts anyone can do. You exactly. Know? Um, it's yep. really about just starting where you are. Like there's modifications for everything. And it's yeah. really like what you put into it is what you get. Yep. So it's I can take level. like a simple, basic beginner workout and make it tough as fuck. Right. Because it just how hard you're pushing yourself. And exactly. And yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm going to do the, do along with you side, uh, alongside you guys. So I can show you like, yes, this program is definitely beginner friendly, but anybody can be doing it. Yeah. So, um, and um, this month we are starting a, an optional fourth day for the workout plan as well. So the first two months we did three days and we did it that way just to get people moving and get them more mm-hmm. comfortable in the gym. Um, and now yeah. the fourth day is going to be an accessory day, um, which is optional. So people like, I'd rather, I want to see people hitting three days consistently before they start pumping up that fourth day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, if you're not able to hit three days, don't try to don't, do the four and then. Yeah. Don't, don't skip one of the get... main three days to do the fourth, yeah. either, by the way, because yeah. the fourth day is an accessory day. The other ones yeah. we've got our primary days. So, right. Yeah. So super exciting. All good stuff all around. And then There's we had so the... much good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff coming into the summer. Yeah. Summer. I mean, guys, so think about summer. it, guys, like even like joining Matt's group for the summer, that would be an awesome thing. You know, a lot of people need accountability for the summer. I feel yeah. like, you know, it's, uh, accountability is huge. Like my yes. coach, Christy is now coaching me. She's like, Beth, can I oh, please yeah? coach you? Because I feel like, you know, you need to be more accountable and I don't think that your calories are right. And, da, da, da. and I'm like, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. So I'm actually, she put me in the app that we use for our clients and I'm checking in and doing everything my clients would do. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So it's pretty fucking cool as like the owner to you see, get a different like, perspective. Yeah. Which I love. And then I can also make changes, um, for what I think the client would like more. And I just think it's, it's gonna be a cool experience. So she set my calories and my protein, which were a lot lower than I had them. She's like, you're not a deficit. I'm like, you're probably right. Um, I knew, <laughs> I knew I was going to have to go to this amount. I'm not going to say because my deficit's different than everyone's. And, exactly. Yeah. You know, yep. people get yep. hyper-focused on that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just started inputting my stuff today so I can see all my graphs. Yeah. I Fun. love it. I'm a yeah. nerd like that. I love the graphs and the, the data yeah. that you get when you start tracking things. Totally. And that's, that's the, that's the cool part about tracking you guys is, is the data that we get. And we always talk mm-hmm. about weight loss or the scale, right. As being data points. And that's all it yeah. is. Cause then we can plot it out and look at the graphs and the trends yeah. and all that cool nerdy shit that yeah. us coaches like. So yeah, she's tracking yeah. my steps, my fiber, like literally every little, my workouts. So. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And, and for me, you know, I I'm, I've been talking a lot about this on uh, the podcast and with uh, Instagram and things like that is how I haven't been enjoying my strength training. Mm -hmm. And this for me is going to be that bump I need um, doing the work, the Patreon workouts with everybody. um, I'm going to be there right there with you guys. So, um, and I'm looking forward to it and it's got me excited. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick that up, pick that up when I get back from my camping trip. So that's awesome. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start making some of the recipes too, you guys. And uh, from the portal, um, From and making Patreon. video, making yeah. some videos. Love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, and speaking of making videos and cooking videos, I obviously I booked my trip to come see you at the end of June. Yay! Since our May one, um, COVID had other plans. Right. Um, so we're gonna be doing lots of cool collaborations, um, some unique, um, exclusive content for the Patreon. And then of course for stuff for TikTok and Instagram and the podcast. Yeah. So, yeah, um, we have, we have a, it's going to be a good trip because we're, I'm there for like three and a half days, I think. So, mm-hmm. yeah. We make a lot of fucking content. We're going to be cooking yeah. with Rich, which is going to be fun. Yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to cooking with Rich. Yeah, me too. Yep. So yeah. Rich, of course, is our professional, the professional chef, not ours, the professional chef over now we're cooking, which we're partnered mm-hmm. with for the Patreon and, and the podcast for the recipes. Um, really look forward to that. So. Yeah. I don't know. Um, 
Did we miss anything? Is there anything we want to rant? Anything else we want to rant about? Or is that kind of it? Oh, I don't know. I think that's, that's it. It's, it's just, this is that, that sweet spot, I think for the, t- for the time of the podcast, right? Yeah. Been about half it's been like what so right 30 now, so. something minutes. Yeah. 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 We, we like to trickle in these, uh, these shorter episodes too. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, real we- quick. Uh, couch to 5k. How's that going for you? I actually am on week four, day one. I finished that. So I got, um, heading on to week four, day two. Um, I'll finish that this week. Got it. I have to call myself out here. I have not picked back up since I sprained my ankle. So, um, I'm calling myself out here, everybody. I am taking accountability for this responsibility for this. It's my fault. Nobody else's. I have not done it. I'm going to, as soon as I get back from my camping trip, I was going to say, you can can start next week. Yes. And I hate that. I'll start next week, but I, I, I just, but that's realistic here I'm in li- this situation. I'm literally getting done with this podcast <laughs> and then getting, going to be leaving. So yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think the he won't be doing his fucking couch to 5k on the, uh, the old trail over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I need to start running again before I come back to see you because yeah, because you're gonna, gonna be running in the trail trails. Runs, so. I might be like, you know what, we're doing this 5K right now, Matt. So <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be running around running circles around me. <laughs> it's a flat trail. You'll be fine. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, that's a good stopping point then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Amazing. See you later. Bye. And that is a wrap for this episode of Cut the Crap with Beth and Matt. Did we help you cut through the bullshit? We want to know. Send us a DM on Instagram and share your thoughts. We'd love to hear them. And if you did find this one helpful, why not share this episode with a friend? I know I personally love it when a friend shares their favorite podcast with me along with a text saying, Oh my God, you have got to check out this podcast. You'll love it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss future episodes.